live as though you're already participating as an individual from the age of the Supreme. Now, temporally, this is the before time of the age of the Supreme since every system uh, is expanding on a relative scale although it is said that saints and masters have ascended to become like the supreme being of the universe who is one so for every perfected experience there is this notion that it would have had having been contributed to the experiential accomplishments of the supreme being so how do you go from the temporal point uh, before the consecration or the consummation of the supreme being as an eventuation in the grand universe and contribute your experiences to all those who would have been born during the age of the supreme it's the idea like when people have done enough good deeds in their life that they would have been able to pass on to another being through their will through their estate and the way that it had been shaped is that you can see it forming in, uh, in Nebadon but you can't um, necessarily grasp the full potential of what it would mean for Nebadon to have reached the full stage of the life and light of the universe so that idea of Eurasia as a fourth stage of finality perfection through humanity, civilization, and the harmony of nature and ecosystem cosmically is uh, something that it's like in World War II with the posters for Uncle Sam. We need you to perceive how you will contribute to an interplanetary society during the age of the supreme being and assume that in the future there's a civilization on this planet that has you know dispensed with the need to have too many statutory regulations with regard to their patterns of socialization and economic exchange or cultural and uh, they, they become like Adam and Eve autonomous beings who at all times do God's will okay what that looks like for your ranch in the future regardless of the way that we arrive at that point with our constitutions and our Magna Cartas uh, we are going to have to do that through treating each other fairly and generously and to draw on the potential of the Universal Father and especially the moments where you are participating in a goal that is not simply yours as an individual it's a goal that you have to share with others and it's about how a universal society of friends preserve the culture from the city of God Zion to allow for the basic freedoms that a spiritual being okay partnered 
uh, in the Holy Spirit, or in the Catholic, the Lord, the giver of life. Okay, always here, co-creation. That's a pre-supreme being age term. Okay, don't think that you'll hear that term exchanged very often when society has arrived during the age of the supreme. Okay, that will be the golden age like the world has never known before. But the simple things that we can do ethnically, natural procreation, preserving the values of herders and hunters and farmers, okay, will give us the appreciation necessary to hold insight to the revelation of doing God's will. And that's how we're all going to get there. That's how we're all going to consecrate ourselves as individuals so that at the end of our lives, our deeds could be erased from the universe so that the universe could retain a set of potentials that are devoid of obligations and identities specifically in a spatial realm. And you know that in times past, the masters and the sages and the saints had ascended. You know that to finalize your experiences temporally as a human individual offers you the potential to create a new identity as a sentient being with a will. And through the will of an individual and the most potential of your choice, you offer the finalized perfection of your experiences to the consummator of universe destiny who uses the wisdom of your experiences to guide all beings throughout time, even beyond the age of the Supreme Being. And so, when we focus on how we will live during the age of the Supreme Being, okay, it's not too much about thinking about what they will do and how they will live, but we are preparing our hearts. We are becoming amenable to install better behaviors and our just our thinking and our approach, our Bushido, to the true challenge. And that challenge is revealed spiritually in the minds of every individual being. Every being with the individuated awareness of a perspective 